hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here please subscribe turn on the notification bell to be the first to be notified anytime i upload so based on my quiz on my um youtube you guys decided i will do or you guys decided for kimono and here we are and if you're an od you have come across this page you have not subscribed please make sure you subscribe give me a big thumbs up then drop your comment down below so this kimono will be all hands kimono design so first of all you're going to measure from your front from the center of your front down to the width of where you want your kimono to stop you can stop here you can stop at your elbow you can stop here you can stop wherever but if you decide that from your center front the length will stop here or the width will stop here know that it consumes fabrics so but here we are going to be constructing exactly the way it is on that photo or picture that i showed you guys to measure my 28 which is from here i'll measure my 28 and add my folding allowance which is 29 so 29 here you can see 29 here so i will fold here into two to know the front and the back so i'm going to fold here into two so this is where we will be working with here so you are going to bring your chalk so you are going to start from the back panel since you have folded your fabric into two so i'm going to measure so the length i want the back neck to be is three i'm going to mark out my three the width is three i don't know if you guys can see it here the width is three and the length is one and half let me just do one because i'm going to i'm not going to add seam allowance to it so you curve it curve it to meet that one so here is our sleeve measure your wrist so that it can enter and go just more opening little opening so i can go with 11 you can see how i'm doing it it's easy to pass out so i'll go with 11 11 divided by 2 will give me five and half so i'm going to measure five and half then add my seam allowance of one inch that's six and a half from this one inch i'm going to mark out one inch one inch one inch down so that when i cut out there will be something like this The clothes we have something like this for hemming. The back neck line so the back panel i'm through with the back panel this is as easy as abcd but it can be tricky at times so i will just fold the front panel i'll show you guys how to do it so guys what i did here was i just measured the fabric that are the length of the fabric that i want to work with then because the, the materials are quite long and super big it will not contain my cutting table so i trimmed out the one that i want to work with then fold it into two and used my uh, black my and use my back pattern to place on top of it to give me a guide on what to do they are all equal so all i have to do now is just to measure because this is a kimono all i have to do is to mark out mark out the length the width of the neckline which is three so for here i will use standard neckline which is three by three just please note what i'm saying 
so here is also three right so i will curve it so all i have to do from this neckline i'm just going to you know make it make it a shape a v-shape till it matches make it a v-shape till it matches my so it matches my fabric can you see how i did it so once i'm done i'm going to use that as a guideline to cut out to the end of the new folded uh, front panel Another thing I will, I will do is to trim out the shoulder. So I will trim out my shoulder slope. So once I'm done trimming out my shoulder slope, I will redo my sleeve. I'll just cut, cut it out because I want my front and back to be equal. So when I'm stitching, I'll just make a new sleeve. So all I have to do is from here, I'll mark out six, seven, because I will stitch here by half an inch. So I will fold here and notch. I will fold here and notch. Once I'm done notching, straight to the sewing machine, guys. This is the easiest and the simplest kimono you can ever, ever make. We are now on the sewing machine. The first thing you have to do is to align the front and the back shoulder together, then pin them to make sure they are on equal length. So repeat the same thing on the other side. Join the front and the back panel together, then stitch. Remember to back stitch your stitches to secure the stitch as well. So sew it with half an inch, then after sewing, you can go ahead and repeat the same process on the other shoulder. Then you can interlock or use bias to finish up your shoulder slope. So I am repeating the same process that I did on the other shoulder, on this shoulder. So after stitching them, all the shoulders are done and secured. Like I said, you have the option to soldier them or weave them or use your bias to finish up to achieve a neat and perfect finishing. So after I am joining the... I am hemming the sleeve, the length of the sleeve to achieve a neat finishing. And you can see that I'm using the tiniest stitching like 0.25 in and 0.25 out. So you can see the length of the stitches and I don't want it to shorten. That's why I'm using this length to hem it. So you can see how well secured and neat they are. So I'm repeating the same process on the other side. I'm trimming out the SSC so that my hemming will be smooth and in line. Just use the notching that you notched your sleeve as a guide to know where and where to start and stop when stitching so that you will not pass that notch line to avoid your sleeves not being in line with the other.
trim out your excess trades is very important so the next step for me is to join the downsides the hemming sides of the side seams together using half an inch to sew so that i can have enough fabric or extra fabric to interlock or weave so make sure always make sure that you secure your stitches by stitching front and back so that your stitch or your sewing will not lose please don't drag your fabric when stitching and take your time to make sure that the front and the back panel are lined together taking your time because the kimono is long and you can as well if you notice that the kimono is long you can trim it out to your preferred length as well so here i'm working with the full length that's why it's taking so long to finish the side seams also note that i'm using half an inch to stitch then here i'm joining the collar the kimono collar i'm hemming the kimono collar to achieve a neat finishing when i notice a rough part i trim them out to achieve a straight and neat lines so take your time because you will find it difficult at the back neckline just try as much as possible to have your way around it and also make sure you have a neat finishing but it's advisable when sewing something like this especially where there is curve you can cut out a bias with your fabric or you can use normal bias to finish up the collar line of your kimono or you can make a kimono band and attach it to it so I'm going to repeat the same process on the other side as well and also I have done the two sides of the side seams so I'm finishing up my kimono by sewing, sewing the down hemming and then we are good to go this is as easy as possible just make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel turn on the notification bell and see you guys next time bye